Hello, hello, lads and girls, this is Lord Kicker, and welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. And I'm just gonna check if this mission is long enough to make an episode. If not, I'm gonna mix it in with the other one I have, and probably cut this off. Alright. So we are back here. Let's see here now. Town Dickens. Well. I wasn't too far. Let's see what he wants. Milton, get over here. Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, it was nothing, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, hmm. Milton. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest. You'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Oh, lucky man. Then you better work extra hard. Good day. No Hi, worries. Sir, sir. You hear that, John, Jim? Extra hard. Hey. Hey! Get over here. Mr. Dickens? Go find old Jim Milton here something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. <laughs> now you got all the tools you need. Come on this way. I, I was on my chores anyhow. Say, is that your family getting in the wagon up there? Ah, oh, believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Not at all. Is it true what they said about you when you arrived? That, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we uh not discuss this in front of my wife? <laughs> oh, uh, no. Sure. Yeah, of course, Mister. I don't want to worry her. Oh, yeah. I hear that. Yeah, thanks. Mrs. Milton! Jim Milton! How fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kinda... It's fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I gotta go. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. Well, his name ain't Jack no more, right? It was, uh, Lancelot. I was going to milk the cows. Come on, I'll do it. You? Are gonna milk the cows? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I thought you was. Uh... I'm a ranch hand. A new one at that. When you got here, them hired guns. I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It's about time someone stood up to them fellers. <laughs> no. Where are you from, anyway, partner? Around, you know, up north, mostly. Been in these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, <laughs> it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything, the ranches. But, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. See, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? <laughs> Good lord, no. Nothing like that. Uh, just a ranch hand, then. Just a ranch hand. Failed at a bunch of things, like most men. <laughs> well, I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. 
<laughs> Let's see how you feel. Well, you see me work. That's always nice to hear, right? <laughs> All right then. Here's a couch. All right. Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. But most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never, never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey, just sit down, I'll show you how. Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprises. The hang of it. Uh huh. Got a pail full. Here we go. Well, that ain't too hard. Oh, I don't have to do it anymore. Hey, Pa. Is that your boy? Sure. Hey, Lancelot. Well, hey, Lancelot. Hey. We're gonna make a dairy maid of your pa yet. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. We all gotta earn our keep. That's enough, Jim. Come on. How about you and the boy uh, help me clean out the stables? Sure. Sure. Come on, son. How old are you now, Lancelot? Twelve, sir. Ain't that grand. It's such a fine name. I like it. I got... I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> I can tell. Now, it ain't pleasant work, but it's gotta be done. Mr. Dickens said... I know what he said. We'll do it. Won't we, boy? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, you get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay, Jack, let's just try and take some pride in this work, hard as it may be. Boy, bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. All right. So we're going to pick up the poop. You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, sir. Nothing. Yeah, I know it's gross. Coming. John Marston, the terror of the turds. <laughs> Be careful. I don't want no on my boots, pa. <laughs> Here we go. Our uh, last one. Shit shoveling. Great. Reckon even your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Okay. Lancelot. Go to the house and speak to Abigail. Oh, you're setting in. Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want? Same as I've been? Won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, well, you know. Me too.
Aw, oh, ain't that nice. Well, time to wake up. Some coffee on. Okay, we earned ourselves three books. Amazing. Alright, so we got a mission from David. Well, he is our, should I say, landlord? <laughs> I don't know if that is the correct term here. He is the owner. Damn it, Abe. Abe? Mr. Geddes. You got an answer for me? I said, Abe, yes, where are the other hands? Uh, I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Geddes, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly more, a mare about to full, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. Yeah, no problem. I mean, you let me live here and... Oh, he's over here. I'm good. You get on. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. Since you showed up, runaway horses been the sum of our problems. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much. Yeah. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all, hmm? Maybe I could have handled them. Of course you could. <laughs> They're just loud mouths. Yeah. So, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Well, when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh, uh, okay then. All right, he'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get to. Thanks, kid. All right. Here we go. You Duncan? I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. You hand with that horse? No. Whoa. <laughs> you sure about that? Okay. Yes. Yes, I do. Pretty big one. <laughs> That's Jeremiah. Hold LT okay, and press. There, boy. You done? Come on. Come Whoa, on. None of that. Come on. Keep calm now. Easy, boy. Oh, someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? Oh, calm down. He likes you. I ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't there we go. How to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. Let me ride him a bit first. Get some of the spunk out of him. I'll be in the corral, Ben. All right. Come on. Where's that big mean horse? Yeah! <laughs> yeah, boy! Yeah, Jeremiah! That's it. Let's get a lather up. Come on! 
All right, let's take her out of here. Or I guess it's uh, he. <laughs> Come on, we almost depleted his energy. You got some energy? Show me that. Okay. That was fun, wasn't it? You can behave now, can't you? All right. Let's bring this horse back. All right. He's ready for you. Okay. Get on up there and go nice and slow. Yeah. Take it easy, partner. Stay calm. Me? The horse. You're calm. My heart's beating a little. <laughs> your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Yeah. Real nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there isn't another horse? Can you ride around here? I had a pony. But I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh. <laughs> Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched <laughs> by your cabin there. Oh, well, right. thank you. Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich. Way richer than Pa. And he's got all these hired guns. Out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, yeah. But, but... Just worry about the horse. Yeah? Yes, sir. You're doing well. I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. Now, see, it's going well. You, Mr. Milton? I thought you were going to help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Right. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Mom. <laughs> <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my husband. Thanks, Jim. You're doing fine, kid. Give now. him a carrot when you put him down. Yeah, he'd, he'd love that. It's over here. Yeah, I'm coming. Well, it looks like this is gonna be an episode of its own. I didn't th actually think it would be this this long. So, you know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not really. Too much. My God, where does my husband find men like you? Still, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. It's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go on. Whatever you say, ma'am. Oh, just shoving my hand in there? <laughs> Alright. Okay, now hold on. And pull. Here we go. Get hold of it again. Reach around in there. Grip them. Oh, I lost it. It's coming out one way or another. Grab them again. Oh, it slipped. It's quite slippery, ain't it? Ah, here we go. Okay, well, 
I thought I was supposed to hold it. Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. Oh, thank you. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? Yeah. I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah, we, we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm I'm busy. Uh, t too busy for social calls. Of course. Oh. Good day. She wanted that Mr. kind of call, eh? Well. While the man is away, she's cheating. Wow. Jim. Sorry. <laughs> so, this is going to be hard, eh? This is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on. Please. For me. For him. Sure. <laughs> How's he been? He doesn't look too happy. Been kind of withdrawn. Quiet. You know. Sure. Take him out, please. Come on, boy. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Round to the left. What do you see? The pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Let's go. How you doing? Fine. Can we go home? No. You're... Stay calm. Where would you like to go riding? Aside from home. I don't know. But... Maybe that stream? Good idea. Now you know all this. Get him going. Come on. You know. <laughs> That's it, boy. The horse can feel your fear. Just act confident, okay? Uh-huh. Confident. Yep. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. That's now a good boy. Go. Jack, a little kick and a... Uh, well, let's go a little faster. How about you speed up a mic? Okay. <laughs> okay, slow down a bit. Whoa, boy. Well, we need to get him used to this, right? All right, let's try faster. That's a good speed. You know, this ain't so bad, sir. Good. That's good. That's what the right horse and a little confidence can do. Oh. Even faster, come on. Faster? Yeah. Ah. 
Come on. I ain't letting you go too fast, but uh, I mean, this is a nice speed. Okay, let's go across to the stream. Yes, sir. Oh. You're ready for a little race? I guess. All right. We go back to the path and up to the ranch. Okay. On my go. Go! <laughs> I leave you in the dust. Your horse is much bigger, and you're much smaller, like a jockey. Come on, catch up. <laughs> Slow him down a little bit to make him catch up. Cause I don't want to get too far off from him either. <laughs> well ridden, son. You won. This yeah, time, barely. Whoa. But we both rode hard. And you're riding? It's got a lot better. Thanks. Hey, you keep practicing your riding. Sure. Wow, he seemed a bit annoyed. to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. I'm cleaning at the doctor's office. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Give the place a tidy. Okay, Pa. I'll see you later. Well, uh... Fatherhood for beginners. Oh, we could give him a treat. And turn him out that fastly. Yeah, we didn't do that. Well, wow, there actually seems to be a lot to do. And this episode is getting quite long. So I think I'm going to end it off here. Hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Until then, bye-bye. <laughs>